Hello, I'm Ty Mason from the DiabetesCouncil.com, researcher, writer, and I have type 2 diabetes. Today I'm going to answer the question, is okra good for diabetes? But before we get into that, make sure you download my free diabetes management book, which also includes a diabetes grocery shopping guide, foods to eat and avoid, by clicking the link below. Now, I don't know if you can tell from my voice or not, but I am from the South. So when this question popped up, I felt pretty confident. Okra is a staple in much of the South. Some of you are wondering what an okra is, so I'll try to explain it. The main reason okra is probably more popular in the South than in the North is that it grows easier in warmer climates. It's the same plant family as cotton and the hibiscus. And when you hear someone talk about okra, they are normally talking about the edible seed pods of the okra plant, much like pea pods or bean pods. In some countries, they are called ladies' fingers, and I can see why. They look somewhat like some ladies' fingers who might be green and wrinkly. It's also known as gumbo and okra. Don't ask me why. Now, okra may be prepared in many ways. My grandma used to boil it. This made for a very slick, slimy, soup-like concoction. It was pretty tasty, but if you ate too much of it, you couldn't keep your socks up. <laughs> Not really. Okay, okra can be fried, seasoned a little salt, or as I like it best, add a little Old Bay to it. It can be baked into breads, used in vegetable soup. Uh, a very popular way to eat okra is to grill it. Let's talk about whether or not okra is good or bad for diabetes. Okra is one of the most nutritious vegetables in the world. It's very low calorie, only 30 calories in a 100 gram serving. Okra contains a very healthy amount of vitamins A, B complex, and C. They're rich in antioxidants such as beta carotene, xanthan, and lutein. It is one of the vegetables with the highest levels of antioxidants. Okra is a great source of dietary fiber, and we all like that fiber because it promotes better glycemic control and improves insulin sensitivity. Plus, it makes us feel fuller, longer, and keeps us regular. Okra is also an amazing source for important minerals such as iron, calcium, magnesium, and manganese. In the South, many people use okra for medicinal purposes. They make okra water, they use the peel, even grind up the seeds to make what's called okra powder. Okra water is said to help diabetes, blood disorder, headaches, all kinds of different ailments. People just cut the pods into thin slices, put them in a glass of water overnight in the fridge, and then drink the water for breakfast. Okra peels and okra powder have actually been studied and shown to be a rather potent supplement for many of the nutrients found within the pot. So yes, okra is good for diabetes. Easy answer for me today. I hope this answered your question, is okra good or bad for diabetes? Don't forget to get your diabetes management book by clicking the link in the description box below. And as always, let me know if you have any other diabetes-related questions. Thanks for watching. I'm Ty Mason.